Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and welcome to my first Godot tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'd be showing you how you can create a 2D platformer game in Godot. So I'm creating this tutorial because most of the tutorials on YouTube explaining how to create a 2D platformer game a little bit outdated so i'm creating this so we so there's a recent tutorial explaining this and showing you other new methods you can make use of when creating a 2d platform game so if you're a beginner i would advise you download the game engine from game from godotengine.org and once you download it you should see two windows like this um so about that you should see one one is a console right here and one is the project manager which is the first window you should um see when you open godot so now i have a few projects if you don't have a um, project you should see um a button telling you to browse um for projects from the um templates which is the assets library so in projects now let's create a new project and my new project would be 2d platformer game there you go now let's create the folder and create and edit. So now we're welcomed with this screen. This is where we'd carry off most of our game development. So right here at the top, you can see this tabs. This is currently by or by default, it opens in the 3D tab, um, which you can use when creating 3D games. For this, we're creating 2D games, so we'd make use of the 2D tab. There you go. Oh. So the first thing you'd want to do in creating a 2D game in Godot is add a node. You can see a node as an object which holds um, various game functions. Take for example, we have a node which handles the sprites, we have a node which handles lights, we have a node which handles the twinning in your game. So with that said, I hope you have a little idea of what this is. You should understand more as we make use of it. So now let's create a node. You can create a node by use, clicking on this uh, plus sign right here. And this would create a new node. For this, we'd select node. So since this this right here would be uh, the scene we're currently in, would be the main scene of our game. I'm creating a node here and I'll name this word. All other um, scenes would be linked to this main scene. So I'll save, create this as world and save this. So I like my files organized, so I'll kind of create a folder and I'll name this um, scenes, okay, and save. So we have our world scene. Now let's create a new scene for our player. You can create a new scene by clicking on this or going to scene and clicking on new scene. There you go. This. So in this scene, we need to add a node. Now the node we'll be adding is called the kinematic body. 2d so let's click on the plus and kinematic body 2d this is the kinematic body 3d and this is the kinematic body 2d so we're making a 2d game so we'll select the 2d node create there now i think i'll let's rename this and i'll name this player so we can identify it um when we create when we make an instance of it in the world scene which is this scene so player now here we have a triangle and it says this node has no shape so we can't collide or interact basically what this means is that we need to set give this um node a shape so we can give it the um, collision shape 2d which is what we'd be making use of but before we do that let's give attach a sprite to our kinematic body 2d at this point um, i'll show you the sprites which i'll be using for this tutorial series it's one i downloaded from um Kenny um sorry about that here we go here we go so it's the platform arts complete pack I'll leave a link in the description just in case you want to get it too so let's open this and we'll make use of the base pack so I'll just copy the um entire base pack copy to my games projects folder your games projects folder can be found in the documents directory on a windows machine so I'll select this in um, resource and let's open in file manager. Here we go. So I'll paste this, paste. Now I'm pasting the arts in this folder, and oh sorry, I think I'll create a new folder, new 
folder and assets assets and place my base pack in the sorry in the assets folder there we go now minimize and godot should reimport this assets and we have to wait till it's done okay so that's done and we have the folder assets which we created and the folder which we copied which is base pack now let's select our player and let's add this sprite to it so player let's add a child node now you need to select a node if you want to add um another node as its child if i click if i add a node it would add it as a separate node but if i select this and add a node it would add it as a child node of the kinematic body 2d so add and we'll be using the sprites node there we go sprites and create so now here um in the inspector which is the properties you can see our sprite node requires a texture now let's head into our assets and base pack all the way to player i'm making use of the green player so i'll go with green stand and i'll drag this to the texture there you go so we have this displayed as the sprites now let's add the collision shape to the back here select player add a um, child node and collision shape 2d there you go now we also have a warning sign here and the warning sign says a shape must be provided for this now you can provide a shape by selecting this and in the properties select the shape or make use of the new capsule shape 2d because it looks like the player there you go so this will serve as the collision for our player so here's something you may want to know so if i select this right now and drag um, i can drag the collision shape one side i can drag the player and i have my kinematic body node right here but we don't want this we want to drag this as a group i don't want to be able to select the child node of my kinematic um body so to do this let's pull it back together you need to select player and then click on this which would make sure the object's children are not selectable so select this and now if i select collision shape today and drag it excuse me, i drag it as a group and not as a single node so here we're done with our player for now now if we go into let's go into our world um scene sorry let's save our player scene so control save and still in the scenes folder save this as player.tcn now let back into our world um scene we need to create an instance of this um player scene which we created so in world you can do this by clicking on this right here which is instance child scene so here it states that instance a scene file as a node the scene file is the player um player.tcn which we just saved so if we click this and we can select that scene okay sorry no parents okay sorry we need to select world and this instance child scene and play.ccn open so we have instanced this in the scene as a node note now let's save so the next thing is to add a script to our player so our player moves you can do that by selecting the player and clicking on this right here which is the um which looks like a script and a plus sign and you can also right click and choose attach scripts so let's do it this way add scripts and here we have the language there are currently three languages we have native scripts gd scripts and visual scripts visual script should be the easiest to work with for this would be using um gd script um inherits will set this to kinematic body 2d um templates we have the default template the default template comes with a few comments and code so butin scripts there we go and the path this would be the name of our script player.gd and this way would be saved in create so if you enjoyed the tutorial please like subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss future uploads like this so this is it this is the default comments and this is the default code um okay so for this what this actually does is that so this is called when the node enters the scene for the first time just like um in gdevelop where we have at the beginning of the scene so we don't need this so just clear that and back Okay, so we'd leave this um, extends kinematic body 2D. It's just like it's importing this kinematic body 2D to this script which we have here. So the first thing you need to do is create a variable. A variable to declare the maximum speed of our player. So set this to variable and I'll name this max 
speed and set the value to about um, 200. Next, you need to create a function. Let's go down and function f u n c and add an underscore. So we would be using physics to remove our player around the scene. So we'd call the physics process delta um, function. So at the end we have this which is a color. Now the GD script is a little bit like Python. Here they use tab. If this was JavaScript, I would basically just um put this which are curly braces and type my code right here but no this is not this is gd script so for this we'd be using um colon right there and press enter now we can fill in the code we want to take place when this function is called so first thing we need to do is declare a variable um velocity and set the value of it to vector 2 dot 0 there you go and the next thing now we need to check the key pressed on the keyboard at a time to do this you need to do if and then call impute if the impute is action action pressed so here we have this actions which are ui accept ui cancel ui down ui and and all this other action so by default these are the actions which come when you create a good old game this actions right here cannot create a good old game so the names of these default actions cannot be changed but you can add in more actions you can add in actions by going into project and project settings and then input map so here you can see the actions we have we have ui accept and we have the key pressed we have um which is what we'll be focusing on today we have ui left and ui right so ui left has um the left key here so once the left key is pressed so this refers to the left key and this refers to the right key now you can add in more actions by typing in one here let's say um move left and add so you can see we can modify this um new action which we added we can set the name for it we can add um keys to it but we can change the names of the default actions which come with um godot so delete and for this we'll be using ui left since he uses the left key we'll be using ui right um he uses the right key on the keyboard so close this and back to our script so here we type in ui um ui left let's sorry let's start with right ui right once ui right is pressed on the keyboard we need to get the um velocity variable which you created right there and we need to get the x axis and then add we need to add one because we want to move to the right so we need to add one there you go now once again let's say if the input is um action pressed action pressed and this would be let's go with the ui left so ui left and ui left now let's set this velocity we're moving velocity dot x we're moving on the x axis now we want to move backwards so we need to subtract from this so subtract one from it there you go now if input let's go upwards input is um action pressed um there we go ui up we want our velocity in this case now we're not moving to the right or left again we will need to move up with, which is the y axis so we can set this to velocity dot y and subtract and it will go in upwards so we need to subtract um one from it so next if now this will be down so if the input is the action pressed action pressed um the action is ui down there you go so once ui down um velocity dot y would be we'll add um one to it there you go so previewing your game at this point would not make your player move we still need to add a few um lines of code and this includes stopping the player once the key is no longer pressed so to do that you need to go if the in sorry not if input sorry velocity if velocity dot length we need to get the length of the velocity if it's greater than zero add a column if it's greater than zero we need to set the velocity to be equals to velocity and set the velocity dot normalized normalized 
and we need to multiply this by our variable right here which is variable max speed so multiply this with that and we should have this so for player to move we need one last line of code which is the move and slide so enter enter and that would be move and slide so move and slide now we, here we have the linear velocity so set our linear velocity to this variable right here which is velocity so type in velocity in there there you go so if we preview this it should ask us which um scene we want to set as our main scene now we need to select our main scene which is world and open and here we have our player i'm currently pressing right on my keyboard down there you go so it's moving and which is perfect so, so this is the basic movement of our player in the game and the next part of the tutorial would be adding in gravity on making our player jump rather than floating like this so if you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next godot tutorial thanks for watching